Uh, so Farco was, I was just browsing the project development forums, looking for games that maybe hadn't been given a whole lot of attention yet, and Farco had zero replies to its thread. So to my knowledge, I get to be the first person to try it out and check it out. And that's it. I got out. I, I, I have no more words. I gotta name the group, huh? Uh, I will admit that I did briefly check out this first introductory area. I didn't actually get through it or anything. I just started kind of looking at the uh, creation process, I guess. And I'm pretty sure that this name is not actually what you call the um, character. It's literally what you call the group. Apostrophe somewhere? Am I that blind? Alright, guess what? This is now an apostrophe. I will admit, I'm always a little hesitant for a game that offers as many classes as this one is. Because I'm always concerned that maybe there's some classes that are not as fleshed out as others. Or, um, all of them are not particularly well done. I don't know that. That's why I'm here to try it out. But, I'm a little, a little, a little wary. Uh, but apparently Roy, I can change what he is later. Uh, so... So my choices are Pyromancer, which uh, apparently gives really good damage, but has very low defense. Earth, which lots of defense, but not a lot of damage, and good at taunting, so uh, tanking, pretty much. Uh, light, which uh, heal and shield. As well as apparently a little bit of retaliation. Water. Which is uh, apparently the, the most... The most healing. The best healer, I guess. Ice. Which is, uh, I guess, a mix of damage and defense with a little bit of disable. Some crowd control, I guess. Uh, blood. Which is dots and apparently turning those into hots, so drain effects. And they have a really high target rate. So I guess it's kind of like Earth, you can kind of tank with them, but maybe they don't have as many defenses. Biomancer. Heal and debilitate. So maybe hots and dots would maybe be a guess. Win. Ah, oh, multi-hit. So this would be my AoE and the highest damage output, but it's really inconsistent. Okay, so they're good for bosses, presumably, but not so great for little things. This is burst damage. Extremely effective. <laughs> Contrary to what I just said, apparently these are really good during boss encounters. And I think I get starting people? Maybe I get four. But Roy can change to pretty much anything, so I am... I mean, I want a healer, so I want somebody who's going to be water, or life, or light. And probably somebody tanky, so I guess that's either blood or earth. Let's make him blood. Yes. Slightly stronger in every attribute. So let's make her Earth. Although Blood's already going to be drawing a lot of aggro. But Earth gets more defense. Let's do that though. Yes. Uh, so 
hit somebody is gonna do damage. Now the is it wind, I think? It's multi-hit. That might be really good for random battles. Let's go with wind. We'll see how that works out. One character left. As an additional feature, he gets an extra class. He can be an adventurer instead of just choosing a magic type. An adventurer learns everything, but you gotta find them. Yeah, fuck it, why not? I mean, let's try out the, uh... They don't learn skills by leveling up, instead you gotta find them all. Okay. Yeah, sure, let's give it a try. Alright. Oh, difficulty. Norm. I'm always a fan of every game that I play. Normal is... In my mind, I don't know how they program this, but I am generally used to the idea that normal is... Uh, this is what we designed the game to be. Easy is like, right, you know, the game's a little too difficult for me the way you designed it. Hard is... I just, I love the challenge and I gotta fucking get my achievements and everything. But normal is the baseline experience that is always what I played through the first time on a game. So that's when I see Recommended difficulty. Yes, sir. Okay, so apparently Roy is the boss. Okay, so he's my shopkeep. Merchant. And he has all the healers. Alright. Now, I'll be interested to see what makes him so special as a healer that I don't get to do in my own... mercenary group and the guild has given us a job. Alright then. Man, that is a bare bone shop. Building. Guild hall. Meeting room. What do you got? Look, there's a table and there's a map. Are we gonna put anything else in here? This room is very pragmatic, damn it. Kill the mythical beast in the slumbering forest. <laughs> Inner circles. Do I need tranquilizers? Alright. Interesting little flash there. Okay, now I'm curious though. Eldwin Frombe. What an epic sounding name. Hey, check it out. I actually start... Well, okay. It looks like I start with a lot of gold, but given Roy's reaction, maybe 3,500 ain't much. Alright. No descriptions for him, but... A little bit high. Oh, wow, look at him. Just 22 is all the way down. This man is... This man is a fan of two. Oh, wow, Seth goes really frequently. High agility. Like, I got no equipment. I have nothing. I have no items. Maybe. Yeah, I have no items. I have a couple skills. Oh, 
Oh, that's interesting. The cost goes up. Now it says cost 10% MP. 10% of my MP would be 23, not 33. So maybe it restores some MP in the damage formula box or something. The damage depends on that. Scales with the now this is cool. I like that the abilities scale with different stats and that it tells you what stats it scales with. Our skills are very cheap. Very low physical damage. Scales with defense. I really like that. The idea that it scales with your primary stat, I guess. Drain. Recover some MP. That's kind of cool. So I can drain some HP and I can recover some MP. I wonder what the ultimates do. Alright then. I don't see anything to go explore, so I'm just gonna assume there's nothing in here. I, do I want to hire someone from the capital? An option to say no would probably be nice, because I'm hoping that if I hit cancel, it doesn't hire anybody. Okay. But in case someone didn't know about that, something that says no I don't would probably be good. with the speed function on the music. What can I help you with? Probably not healing or resurrection. Well, let's see what happened. I have to charge you. Is that right? No, it isn't. Not resurrection. No, it's not okay. Okay, so is he the only way to revive then? Is it like uh, Shining Force? What do I want to talk about? The job! I gotta go hunt a rainbow jellyfish. Singing Medusa? Ah. Hmm. That'd be kind of cool if I actually have to follow paths according to whether or not a sound gets louder. What else can I find out? This place is looking really bare. I finished it in a couple minutes. I'd love to have a builder. That was the last one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is it a volatile procedure? Does resurrection come with risk? Hmm. So now if I had picked a photomancer, I wonder if I would have gotten the resurrection spell. What is your lemma? Or Ulema? How do you... <laughs> uh-huh. So apparently I gotta watch out if there's an enemy that has Demon's Fang. It destroys your body's mod trails. still need equipment. Bad. I have nothing. Oh, it's a sign that has nothing on it. Oh, it is where the merchant is. Can I, can I check anything at all? You? Okay. Hey, what's up? What? <laughs> ah, the great shop of rainbow amazing goods. Was the jellyfish through here? Ah, yeah, I'm here to shop. Or... I'm gonna say offense is gonna be more important than defense. So who can use what? And we'll get the most. Oh yeah, let me. I guess for pyromancers, for geomancers, for hydromancers. Is this all for? 
Looks like there's one weapon for each person, basically. Except the adventurer who can use anything, right? So what's... What was that, 13? The short bow? So I guess the short bow, maybe, right? Is there anything special about any of them? I mean, they all cost the same. I guess I just go for the one that has the most attack. And then... The mace for Linda. Seth. Can he dual wield daggers? I'll have to go check on that. And a hand axe for boy. Let's see here. Can he? Can I offhand him with a hand axe or does he have to get a shield? Yes, he can dual wield. Alright, I need to buy him another knife. I'm here to duplicate. Yes, sir. Man, that guy's colorful. Uh, so I'm gonna guess he can wear... Oh, he can't wear everything. He can wear the leather. That's the best chest piece, so let's get that for Eldwin. Linda and Roy can both wear the chainmail. I guess. I'm assuming I have enough money to just fully equip these people out, even though I'm not actually checking. And Seth can just do the casual clothes. Not the bandana. Oh yeah, helms here. So chain helm. So it looks like the leather, the leather hat for Eldwin. The chain helm for Roy and Linda, and the bandana for Seth. shield, so I guess that for Linda, that for Roy. Well, that's pretty cool. I've actually got enough money to get myself some starting gear. With a little bit left over. Uh, you can use the chain helm. <coughs> Excuse me! Get it out, we're good to go, ready to adventure. Because I don't think I get any accessories, right? Right, because he has a short bow, he can't equip shields. Uh, Alright, let me give it a quick save a save. 17 minutes, alright. Uh, for ease of uploading these to YouTube later, I'm going to stop and start again really quickly here. Because then it cuts it up into nice little chunks for me. So, I'll be right back.